This is an iMac running Parallels 9. Um, the iMac is a 27 inch with a 3.4 Intel i5 processor, 24 gigabytes of RAM, an NVIDIA GTX card with 2 gigs of RAM. Um, the operating system on the Mac side is Mavericks 9 and um, on the Windows side I'm running Windows 7. Um, now, uh, Parallels only shares a portion of the RAM that's available to your system. Um, some of it uh, for the Mac side and some for the Windows side. In this case, that's 16 gigs of RAM and 1 gigabyte of video RAM. I also optimize the uh, keyboard and mouse for games. Specifically the mouse because when, when it is not optimized, you'll find that there is some really funky performance in that it, it jumps all over the place. Um, when you do optimize the mouse for the games, yes, the cursor on the Windows side before you launch the game becomes really fast. It's almost annoying, but um, when you, once you start the game, the cursor performance is, is definitely on par on what's expected for uh, most games. So here we are uh, in my home, and um, right off the bat, um, once you launch a game, you'll get this, this, this. <laughs> you'll get this uh, performance. Um, for the first five minutes or so, um, after a while you'll see that the, the performance does improve. But for the for uh, from the moment you start the game, it is not that impressive in terms of uh, 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 how it performs. Um, there is yes, this pausing. Um, there is this glitching. If you see in the bottom third of the screen, um, this this horizontal glitching that occurs. Um, it was annoying when I first um, played the game, but um, I've gotten used to it after a while, and it hasn't really, really been on my radar uh, since then. But as the game um, plays on, you see that it does smooth out. And um, right now I'm in my uh, home area, so there's not a lot of action. I'm the only moving thing here, other than whatever animations going on in the background. So it's not too intensive. I wanted to show this, and then how the game performs when um, when there's stuff going on, when I'm when I run a shooting. And you'll see that it um, it's actually pretty good. Those are some of the special effects I like to show. This is called called a uh, spell slinger. Um, she's more of a DPS uh, uh, character, a character that does uh, a lot of damage primarily all right so I just cut ahead into uh, um, the gameplay here here on the wonderful world of Nexus and as you can see that stuttering that was um, apparent when I first launched the game is not quite as apparent or even existent at all It's a very beautiful game. Well run. Um, I love Macs. Um, this is my first, the iMac is my first Mac computer. I've always had a, a PC uh, since then. Um, yes, it still stands that you do not get a Mac for gaming. But if you're like me, um, it's, it's, you know, I, I do like my PC games. And it, it was quite of a um, shift for me, uh, an adjustment for me to make uh, uh, when I got this computer. But um, I do use this computer for other than games. Um, audio production, for example, and other work, other non-gaming work, basically. Things you could think of that you would do on a computer. And um, uh, yet, I still wanted to do some things on the Windows side. Specifically, um, Valve's uh, Source Filmmaker is only PC only, so um, when I, I was playing around with that uh, before I got this Mac, and that was one major uh, thing that I was losing out on. So I needed to have Windows on this computer. Now you could have uh, Boot Camp running. Um, Boot Camp allows you to install a separate operating system just like Parallel does. But instead of running it simultaneously, it, um, uh, you'll have to uh, shut down the computer and restart it to launch either Mac or the Windows operating system. Um, which could be a hassle because I like to go back and forth. 
of course the uh, the the drawback is um, um, when you're running parallels it's more resource intensive um, definitely requires more RAM for it to function for it to function at a level that um, is acceptable on the other hand you can also install Windows using Boot Camp, which comes with all Mac computers. Um, of course, you will have to uh, choose either Mac or Windows operating system every time you want to use a computer. Um, you can have one launched by default, of course. Um, but if you do go that route, um, you do gain the advantage of using all 24 gigs of RAM, at least for this computer. I would get to use all 24 gigs of RAM available on the system towards Windows as well as a 2 gigs of RAM on the video card video RAM on the video card towards the uh, 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 my game my gaming performance um, and it runs just like a Windows computer now if you do go the boot camp route um, you do have uh, the operating systems your Mac and Windows operating systems separated um, the, you have um, uh, a Windows uh, operating system that has all of the uh, RAM available to it. Instead of uh, sharing uh, the RAM, I have um, 24 gigs of RAM dedicated to Windows and 60. Um, I'm sorry, and two gigs of video RAM dedicated to it in a boot camp setup. Um, and of course, the drawback is if I do it that way, if I do it that way, the uh, any work that I do on the Windows side is not easily transferable um, to the Mac side if I needed to. Uh, case in point would be this project. If I were to uh, capture and record the video uh, of Wildstar on the PC side, on the Windows side, um, I would need to um, um, uh, um, either edit it, do the entire project on the Windows side, which is possible, but it requires a little more steps, um, steps that are not um, available out of the box. For example, if I wanted to do this project um, on the PC side only, I would need to get uh, a program like Fraps or QuickTime uh, Movie Player to uh, do some screen capturing um, and then do all the editing in uh, the PC. I could probably use the uh, Windows Media uh, Movie Player rather um, uh, to do the um, editing. I forget the, the correct name. It's not the Movie Player, but it's... Uh, uh, it ends up creating a w WMV file, and then I would use that to upload to um, uh, uh, to YouTube or something. Whereas right out the box um, on the Mac OS side, I have QuickTime and everything I need to uh, make a movie of a PC game on the same computer. So as you can tell, um, the game performs pretty close to uh, what one would expect on a PC. Um, I highly recommend getting uh, Parallels uh, if you are a Mac user. I'm not familiar with uh, any other uh, virtualization software like VM uh, Fusion, um, which I hear also uh, does well with this game. Um, but uh, I made this video just to uh, let you guys know that um, Parallels uh, uh, and Wildstar work does work well together. You do have to um, Make sure you have a decent amount of RAM uh, and video RAM uh, to get uh, a good level of performance. In the future, I hope to upload um, more videos on Parallels and Gaming. If you are a former PC owner and uh, uh, currently enjoy your Mac but are wistful of your days as a PC gamer, then um, uh, subscribe or like this video and um, I will uh, upload um, more games that I enjoy on my computer um, that are available for the PC only and not for the Mac as of yet. Hopefully that will change sometime. Hopefully there will be uh, more companies that will either embrace uh, um, producing games for the Mac um, or producing games for the PC only but also support those who uh, use virtualization software like Parallels or VM Fusion. Alright, until then, happy gaming!